Hello, welcome to Make2 Explore. In this video, we are going to see one interesting AI development tool, the SenseCraft AI. So, we know, in this modern era, artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the world. But what if I told you that you don't need to be a programmer to create AI models? Meet SenseCraft AI, a beginner-friendly, web-based, no-code platform that makes AI development as easy as drag and drop. For more information, let's visit this website. So, the SenseCraft is a series of software services developed by Seed Studio to provide users with faster and simpler software services and applications. And SenseCraft AI is one of the product among them. SenseCraft AI is developed by Seed Studio to make AI accessible to everyone. Whether you're an engineer, a hobbyist, or a complete beginner, you can train and deploy AI models directly from your browser. No installation, no configuration needed. This sounds very interesting, isn't it? So without wasting more time, let's get hands on this tool. So if we click on this button, we will be redirected towards the homepage of SenseCraft AI. Here, as they said, here you can build a Vision AI sensor in just three steps. Step one, discover pre-trained models. So there are two devices or development boards we're going to use for this tutorial. First is Groove Vision AI V2 and other is Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense. In this video, we're going to use Groove Vision AI V2 device. And in next video, we will explore Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense. Let me show you the Groove Vision AI V2 device. So you can see, these are the two hardwares. Both of these hardwares have camera accessory connected to them, isn't it? So this is a Groove Vision AI V2 module, which is having Raspberry Pi camera connected to it using this FRC cable, flat ribbon cable. There are two LEDs on this board. One is power LED and other is user LED. We are going to use that in practical session. Okay, now let's get back to the SenseCraft AI website. So in this step one, you can discover pre-trained models, as well as you can also train your own AI models. We will see these in detail. Then next step is step two, deploy and preview vision. Like as shown in these pictures, you can load any pre-trained model. For example, noodles detection. Then prepare your hardware, like this for Groove Vision module, and then run the inference. In step three, sensor output. You can activate any output hardware whenever inference or detection has happened. How cool is that, isn't it? So in training the models in SenseCraft AI tool, you can do multi-node analysis of any moving object like pose detection, non-biological status indicator, then quantification of target object, also counting of multiple targets. This is awesome, isn't it? Now let's move forward. Let's first explore the pre-trained Vision AI applications given on this platform. So on this page, you will see different public AI pre-trained models. These all are Vision AI models. So at the time of recording this video, in February 2025, there are 402 pre-trained models are available. There will be more in future. These models can be sorted with respect to tasks like detection, classification, segmentation, generation, etc. Similarly, models can be sorted with respect to all of these supported devices. So for example, in our case, if we click on Grow Vision, public vision AI models like Noodles Detection, Game Board Detection get listed here, like this. Further, if we add classification filter, we will get classification models like Bird, Person, E-Waste Classification, etc. So this is all about public AI models. You can explore these filters according to your device and desired model type. Now suppose you want to build your custom model. Then you can go to this training tab. 
Here you can connect your webcam or these supported devices. Like for example, in our case, Grow Vision AI V2 or Xiao ESP32 S3. You can see their camera preview will get loaded here. Like this. Then, you can take image samples by using this Hold to Record button. Like this. You can label them according to your desired class. Then you can train your classification or detection data. You can also add advanced settings like epochs, batch size, learning rate, etc. Then you can start the training the data for your respective device. And once the training is completed, in step three, you can deploy model to your device. How cool is that, isn't it? So in this way, you can do your custom classification and detection training here in this tab. Now let's see the demo of some pre-trained models. Let's get back to the previous tab of pre-trained models. So here, First, we will select our device. First, we will see demo for our Grow Vision AI module. For that, we will select the hardware device here. Then you can select any pre-trained models available. But for this tutorial, we are going to explore gesture detection model. Let's search it here in search bar. So you can see this is a gesture detection model, which detects hand gestures, the popular rock, paper, scissors game. Let's go into further information of this model and see how we can deploy it on our Grove AI vision device. On next page, you can see as they said here, this model is a Swift YOLO model trained on the gesture detection dataset. The character detection model is based on the Swift YOLO framework and can be used to recognize different gestures and images. The model combines the advantages of Swift programming language and YOLO target detection algorithm and has efficient real-time recognition and accurate positioning. You can deploy this model into Grow Vision AI V2 for fast recognition of gestures and images. This model provides new possibilities in education, medical treatment, games, barrier-free assistance, and other applications. Down here, they have shown the examples of the model's inference images, showing images of three gestures with the bounding boxes and confidence level. As we discussed earlier, there are three classes of this model, paper, rock, and scissors. Now, let's see how we can deploy this model onto our device. For that, you have to click on this Deploy Model button you will be redirected towards next page. On this page, you will see supported devices and instructions to prepare your device. So, these two devices are supported. Among them, we are going to use Grove Vision. You can see they have shown in the video about how you can connect camera to the device. So, connect Grove Vision AI V2 to the camera via the CSI connection cable. Then, connect the Grow Vision AI V2 to your computer via USB. So, we have already connected our device. Let's click on Connect Device button. As soon as you do this, next interface will get open, asking you to confirm. Sure to deploy this model? You can see the model name is Gesture Detection. Let's confirm it and go ahead. Next. Once you click on Confirm, this pop-up window will ask you to select USB Single Serial Debug Unit to connect. Select as per your device and Available Serial COM port. As soon as you select it, deployment process will get start. Model and its relevant firmware will get flashed onto your device. You can see the model file is getting deployed onto target device group vision which will get flashed with that firmware, and then restarts. And finally, you'll see preview of inference here in this window. In Device Logger, you'll see the different detailed logs about the inference. Here you can also change the settings of inference, 
like, for example, confidence threshold. It refers to the level of certainty or probability assigned by a model to its predictions. IOU threshold is used to assess the accuracy of predicted bounding boxes compared to truth bounding boxes. Okay, now let's see the demo. So you can see three gestures, rock, paper, scissors are getting detected with bounding boxes. How cool is that? Now here, we want to show you two very interesting facts. First, in this tool of SenseCraft AI, you can connect your device via Wi-Fi and MQTT interface. You just have to configure it properly. And next fascinating thing is this output section. So what is this? Here you can add conditions and subsequent triggering actions as per the inference or detection. So let me explain this with example. Here's they said, trigger action when event conditions are met. So in this model, there are three detections, rock, paper, and scissors gestures. So we can create the trigger action here. Like for example, if the gesture named paper is detected, we can add trigger to light up the LED or save that particular image to SD card. You can also set the level of confidence for trigger actions. How cool is that? Now, let me show the demo of this feature. First, let's set the condition. For that, click on this plus icon. On next window, select object. So here you can see three objects are available. What are they? The gestures or classes of this pre-trained gesture detection vision AI model. Please note, here the condition is dependent on the level of confidence. That is detection confidence. So we will set confidence level to 60. Okay, and condition will be greater than. So what these all settings will do, this will trigger an action. Whenever paper gesture is detected and its detection confidence goes greater than 80, isn't it? So let's confirm it. Okay, so now you can see our condition is got added successfully and it is listed here. Now next step is to select the triggering action. Let's set it. So for our demo, we select this first one, light up the LED. So as they said here, if the device detects paper and the confidence is greater than 80, then light up the device's yellow LED. Which LED? Let me show you. So on our device that is Grove Vision AI V2 module, there is user LED beside this type C USB port. It's very tiny. Once our condition met, that is, if the device detects paper and the confidence is greater than 80, then this user LED will light up the as yellow LED. Now let's send this action to the device and see the demo. Just follow along. In demo, you can verify the deployed model, device name, then preview, device logger output, settings of confidence and IOU threshold. This is cool, isn't it? You can see the LED is getting light up as soon as we make paper gesture in front of camera. You can also create trigger action with other two gestures. In our upcoming videos, we're going to use this feature to create a DIY home automation project in which we will control the status of home appliances using different gestures. Please stay tuned. As you can see here in settings, we have kept confidence threshold at 39 and IOU threshold at 31. So all three gestures are getting detected according to these settings. But please note, user LED is turning on only when paper gestures detection confidence is going above 80. This is because we have programmed triggering action for that condition. Okay, this was about gesture named paper. Now let's create automation for another gesture, rock gesture. Just follow along. This will be similar procedure which we did for paper gesture. Here we will keep confidence to 80. Then we just need to change the object or class to rock gesture. Confirm and send the action command to the device.
In preview, you can see, now the user LED is not getting turned on for paper gesture, nor for scissors gesture. Instead, it is getting triggered for rock gesture. Okay, now let's change the triggering action for scissors gesture. Confirm and send the action command to the device. Let's get back to process tab to see this demo. And in result, you can see LED is getting turned on only for that hand gesture named scissors. So this was about device Groove Vision AI V2. In next video, we will see how to deploy pre-trained models on another device. Xiao ESP32S 3 cents. Stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating our DIY projects, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp. You can also send us email at info at the rate We would be happy to help. Thank you.